That's it, pal. You get the crumbs. You got your PP on? Yes, I have. Because there's no excuses. There is no excuses. Waterproof. Boots. Bevy. Fire logs. Check. Good morning from Lockettev. Hello. It's a bit damp and miserable today, so uh, we've opted for a boffy night and we're on our way to Caderley, which is meant to be an absolute peach of a boffy. Peach. So uh, we just get this walk out of the way, we just pass the quarry there, and we'll bring you back later on. Right, here we are, just about. Been walking for just over an hour. It's all on a good track, and then just this last little section. A wee bit wet underfoot, but nothing too bad. So let's see who's in the boffy. Here we go. Hello. Hello. It's awfully dark in here, but I'll, I'll show you properly later. This is a good room here, Kev. Unless the other one's got a... Uh... Ah. Bunk beds in here. Right, I've got a light now so I can give you the boffy tour. So this is the middle room, this is the honeymoon suite. This is for the lovers. Now we've got the right hand room. Here's the library. Do not burn. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what's in here. A mouse. Just the usual buffet paraphernalia. Old gas canisters and tins of soup and old frying pans. Aha! Uh -huh. I've got a mess burner with me. I'll leave that in case somebody needs it in an emergency. And here's a knickers drawer. Ooh, behave! This room's obviously got a fireplace. Ooh, a comfy sofa. Now we'll head through to the main room. Sorry, Kev. So we're going to bunk in this bit. Snuggle up together. They play footsie, Kev. I'll try not to try and behave myself tonight. This is obviously the social room. And just getting stuff ready for dinner tonight. In fact, you're firing up some soup, aren't you? Yeah, it's for lunch, yeah. Got some big soup. It's quite big. So there you have it. Cadderley Boffy Tour. This is why we're not well camping this weekend, because we knew it was going to be like this. God had a name, what would it be and would you call it to his face? Yeah, yeah, God is great. This better taste nice Kevin because it looks a bit funky. Some chai masala tea from India. It's beautiful, it's lovely, it's delicious. Mm. Full of cinnamon and spices and yeah, she love it. Okay, dogs, go for it. Just to sweeten the deal. I guess we have a shoe on it. I forgot my cup, so if I had to like improvise with this porridge cup, not ideal, but it'll do.
different. It's got a wee. Quiet taste. Nah, you can. It's got a wee kick to it. You can taste the cinnamon in that. Mm. Yeah, there's a bit of nutmeg, cinnamon, a few different spices. Can I see it taking off like? But it's all right. Popular in there. So it's literally like only two o'clock. So we're getting the buffet. Uh, I was going to say a spring clean, but I think a winter mm. clean is more the right word. Because there was mice droppings all over this, so. Just get to the place, spick and span. Spick and span. Look at this steak, that looks Wait, minted. I need to stop eating bloody pasta dishes yeah. and bottles. Like, <laughs> that is vintage, mate. Yeah. Food looks envy. like a good one. Looks like a good one. Did they get managed over there? Here, I've got the four, <laughs> four, four candles. Four candles? Four candles? <laughs> four candles? Four candles. My four candles. Ordered, uh, four candles. Was it Croatia's earlier this year? My mate ordered the four cheese ravioli and let it go for them. What was that? <laughs> It's a bit of sacrilege putting a, a malt in that. Should be like yeah. a grain whiskey, like bells or something. Yeah, that's actually a lot better. Sorry. Than just the spray. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of alcohol that takes it. What whiskey have you bought? Uh, I can't remember. Do you want to snip it up? Yeah, is it a, Whoa. Is it a single malt? It's a single malt, I can't remember which one. Oh, shit. Everybody get your shit away from the fire trap. So, yeah. like, if I was doing that for indefinitely, I, I think I'd find it. But there's a lot strong. of people where we are. Like, we're 45 minutes from Glasgow, and they do it like mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. like to see. And oh, fucking feel the heat. Yeah, that is that's prime boxer drying. Get a video of me drying my box. Me, go and put that away. Come on. <laughs> get a video of me drying. <laughs> that's not good TV. It is, man. I'll stick it in anyway, like. You don't know what people want to see. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> well, that was a cracking night in the boffy. So we turned up first. And then, um, two English chaps from Manchester came along. Tommy and Kyle. They were a good laugh. And then, later on, two Canadian girls turned up. Well, one was French-Canadian. That was uh, Steph and Louise, and they uh, gelled with us as well. So it was a really good night. We had a few whiskies, a couple of beers, and just sort of usual boffy crack around the fire. Uh, I think everybody enjoyed themselves. Great night. So anyway, that's us just walking back out and get back down the road. Thanks for watching, and uh, this may be the last of 2019. So if it is, I'll see you next year. Have a merry Christmas and a happy New Year. Swears.